construction and demolition projects are responsible for about 40% emissions and about a third of the total waste in the EU, with a significant share being landfilled. Circularity is a way to better manage resources and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Transitioning to a circular economy is crucial and requires us to revisit all processes related to product design and development. The circular economy approach developed by the Alan MacArthur Foundation sets a starting point for the reuse of technical and biological materials. The key issue here is that circular economy innovation can deliver both environmental as well as economic benefits. To do that, a series of changes are necessary, not only to building product development, but also to the business models and to society as a whole. As we will find out from our guests in this course, new top-down and bottom-up governance schemes are required to ensure that companies will be efficiently incentivized towards adapting circular economy practices. Circularity in the built environment depends on establishing co-creation processes through all scales of materials, products, buildings and cities. And a transdisciplinary approach is required to tackle the complex environmental and economic issues that arise. In this course, you will discover the opportunities that circular building products can offer. You will investigate them from various perspectives. Design and technology, business models and stakeholders, management and governance. This week we will learn more about products, the base ingredient of buildings and how they relate to circular performance. We will also discuss some of the most common evaluation methods that we currently employ to measure product circularity. In week two we will discuss technology and design challenges for circular product development with regard to the R strategies. In week three, we will scale up and discuss the vast number of stakeholders that are involved in a circular product's life cycle. Several possible business models are discussed. Week four is dedicated to the frameworks that promote circular economy implementation. Circular building products need to be supported through top-down governance as well as bottom-up initiatives. And finally, in week five, we will evaluate the current practices and limitations and we will introduce you to the circular building product canvas. We will unravel the complexity of the task by introducing you to case studies. You will meet experts who can provide you with a theoretical framework and the tools to create new products and new business models. During each week, you will be invited to a number of complementary activities and assignments so you can develop your knowledge and skills. This way, we will support you to design and create new circular building products and processes for your own organization. Enjoy the course.